Hello, welcome to Maths with J. So here we've got two equations in two unknowns. One of them is linear and the other is quadratic. So the way we tackle these is that we start with a linear one and make either the x or the y the subject. It doesn't matter which one of those we choose, but in this case it's going to be easier to make x the subject because if we were to try and make y the subject, we'd end up with a half x coming into it. So let's number the equations to start with. So the first one we'll number as 1, and the second one 2. And then we're going to use the first equation to make x the subject. So equation 1 is giving us that x is equal to 8 minus 2y. So we've subtracted 2y from both sides of that equation. So we've got a new equation, so let's, let's give it a new number, so equation 3. And then we're going to substitute this into equation 2. So we're going to substitute x into equation 2. So what will happen is that we will get a quadratic equation in y and be able to solve for y, we'd be expecting up to two solutions for y, and then we'll be able to go back and use equation 3 to find x for each value of y. So let's start off by replacing x, so we're looking at equation 3 and substituting that into equation 2. So instead of the x, we've got 8 minus 2y, and that's being squared, so that's the x squared, and then we just write down the rest of equation 2, as it was. So that you can see that all we've done is replace x by 8 minus 2y. And now we've just got an equation in y. So we need to multiply out the 8 minus 2y squared. So that's the same as 8 minus 2y multiplied by itself. And everything else, whoops, we don't want that squared there. And everything else stays exactly as it was in the previous line. So we've just written 8 minus 2y times 8 minus 2y instead of 8 minus 2y squared. Right, so let's multiply out those brackets. 8 eighths are 64. And then we've got 8 times negative 2y. And that we've got that twice. So it's two lots of minus 16y. So it's minus 32y and then negative 2y all squared is going to be plus 4y squared because a negative multiplied by a negative is a positive and then as before we've still got the plus y squared equals 52. So what we're aiming to do here is to write this as something times y squared plus something times y plus a constant equals 0 and then we're hoping to be able to factorise the quadratic. So 4y squared plus y squared is 5y squared. And then we're taking away 32y. And then we've got plus 64. But on the other side, we've got 52. So we're going to take 52 away from both sides. So that will give us plus 12 and equals 0. So we can now factorise this. And it's not too bad because we've got a prime number multiplying the y squared, so we must have 5y and y. We have got plus in front of the constant, but minus in front of the other term, in front of the 32y, so we know we must have a minus and a minus. The next part's a bit tricky because we know that 12 can be written as 1 times 12, 2 times 6, and 3 times 4. So we need to think a little bit about what numbers we're going to be putting in here. So it can't be 1 and 12, trying out some different possibilities, but we can see that it is going to be 2 in there and 6 in there, because minus 2y and minus 6 times 5y comes to minus 32y. And then this will give us our two solutions, 5y minus 2 is 0, or y minus 6 is 0. So y is either going to be 2 fifths or 0 0.4, or 
it's going to be equal to 6. So that's the hard work done, but we need to remember we've got to find x as well. So let's just reduce this down in size. So now we've got to find the value of x. We know the value of y. So the best equation to use now is equation 3, because that gives us x in terms of y. So let's start with uh, y is 0 0.4. And so the equation 3 gives us that x is 8 minus 2 times 0 0.4. So that's 8 minus 0 0.8. So that's 7.2. And it's a good idea to check your answers as you go along. So We've effectively used the linear equation here, haven't we, at the end. So now let's check in equation 2. So we want to find out what x squared plus y squared is equal to. And that's going to be 7.2 squared plus 0.4 squared. And that does indeed come to 52, so that's a good start. And then let's check, no not check, let's work out the other solutions. So when y is equal to 6, equation 3 gives us that x is 8 minus 2 times 6. So 8 minus 12 is negative 4. And then checking this solution, we get that, again, x squared plus y squared, so we get negative 4 squared plus 6 squared. So remember negative 4 squared is the same as 4 squared, so that's 16 plus 36. Again, that is equal to 52. So we found that both of our solutions are correct. So either x is equal to 7.2 and y is equal to 0 0.4, or we've got the pair x is minus 4 and y is equal to 6. You may like to check this by sketching the uh, the graphs that you get if you uh, thought about Cartesian coordinates. So you've got the linear graph x plus 2y is 8. So if you sketch that then it's going to cut the x-axis where y is 0, so at 8, and it will cut the y-axis at 4. And x squared plus y squared is a circle centered the origin and its radius will be the square root of 52. So if you just sketch those two graphs and see where they meet, and you should find that where they meet is where we've got the coordinate 7.2.4 and negative 4, 6.